Hey kids, Invertical here, and welcome back to Empyreon. Um, I really appreciate all of the feedback I've had on the turtle base building tank, uh, including the requests to see it in action, um, and some of the other things. I've had a couple of people who have said that they wanted to see it get finished and that kind of thing. Um, I'm uh, I'm absolutely astounded. Um, but what I've done is on the moon, I have a whole bunch of uh, POIs that are all right around the um, the the portal to where where Wally's uh, building sector used to be. Um, eventually, that sector is supposedly going to be redone as a trade center if. I understand correctly they're going to put in a trade facility in that sector and rewrite the sector um, I'm really hoping to take all those blasted asteroids out of it I'm getting really kind of tired of them so what I did is I took this uh, I took the one-eyed rocket ship here up and um, went and knocked out all the guns on the the what do you call it, uh, the POIs that are around there. Um, let me jump into drone mode for a second here and we'll show you. Uh, it did take a few hits, uh, lost some sacrificial armor, a um, couple of armor panels, and nothing major cracked the windshield at one point. I parked it on the repair bay and it kind of zapped up everything that wasn't destroyed. You know, a couple of armor panels on this side. I have some armor plating over here. Still have a few uh, steel blocks that I have to actually upgrade to a hardened steel. Um, this was built a very long time ago and it served very nicely. Um, it's uh, I especially like it now that they have finally taken uh, the ability to turn off inertial dampeners so you can actually properly drift um, your uh, your your light vessels. Um, yeah, I took a few hits on the aft engine compartment, but it didn't do damage anything crucial. So um, not bad for taking out uh, two POIs uh, worth of weapons. Um, <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause here. I'm going to grab a bunch of gear, uh, load up the turtle. Uh, as you can see, she's still sitting on top of the lander. And I'm going to fly it up to the moon and we'll settle it down on the moon and we'll see how it handles getting off the lander on a planet with no pre-built ramp. Uh, it is the moon however so it's going to have slightly lower gravity so it should bounce a little bit nicer. And we'll deal with the POIs that are there. They're, like I said there's three or four. You'll see them when I get up there. So don't go away kids. I'll be back. Uh, as soon as I'm all geared up and ready to head to the moon, or actually on my way to the moon, I'm not sure which. And lift off. Okay, we're back. We're just taking off from the planet here. I forgot to close. Oh my goodness, I forgot to close the door. I'll close the ramp anyway. Um. The hover tank is turned on, um, the, or the turtle tank is turned on, but it's basically just the artillery uh, or weapons emplacements on it that are turned on. Okay, let's turn off inertial dampeners and target ourselves towards In case you're wondering, I'm flying the ship vertically. Um, <laughs> this is looking at the bottom of the ship. 
if I was flying it forward, this would be the direction it would be flying forward. Uh, so controls are a little bit more fun, shall we say. As I said, this is not designed as a initial assault tank. You don't send this in first to do all the damage. You send this in after you've softened the area up. I've already attacked these, um, the drone base and whatnot that's around here with, um, come on, I keep moving, uh, with a small vessel thinned out most of the weapon turrets on it. Um, there's a the map shows them because some reason the map doesn't like to show it. There's a my abandoned factory over here that's just caked full of drones. There's a drone factory over here someplace too. Um, just packed full of drones. Um, and trying to build in this area or do anything in this area for example is difficult. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually utilize this base because this is an ideal opportunity to use this base as it was designed um, and that is to land on a planet and um, attack uh, attack a base or use it as a support vessel for attacking the base so as soon as I manage to get on the planet here to land in one of these valleys. I guess that's going to be close enough. <clears throat> All right, that's, uh, that's fine. I don't have any turns on this lander, but it still shows up as turns. Thrusters off. Oh, she's rolling a bit. Let's see how much she rolls. Is it too much for me to be able to climb the ladder or not? Oh, Jetpack on. Yeah, it's a bit of an angle, um, but hey, that's how it goes. Okay, in the cockpit, change our view. Oh, our menu. Turn on all engines. Turn on oxygen.
let's go talk to this drone base. Now we've shot most of the turrets off on it, so there really shouldn't be a lot here to shoot at. But there should be some. This was part of the problem I was having, is it was generating so many drones I couldn't get close to them. things. Um, I wish you could select uh, an entire group of weapons at a time and say okay all of these weapons are only targeting this one particular item. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pause here. I'm going to set the machine gun turrets I'm going to set the machine gun turrets to one group and then I'm going to configure them slightly different. And then that way I can shut off everything and then turn on the machine guns. Okay, I've configured the mini guns up and actually gave them their own group. Um, I've turned them off a turret, but I don't think that makes any, any difference because for some reason it completely ignores whatever settings you put on here. There is a troop transport on top of this. Um, thing but if I access the mini guns I can actually target it so it can sit there and that's not a big deal. Um, I've also done is I've turned off all I, I grouped all the thrusters including the RCS's and um, uh, hover pads and everything into one group called all engines um, and that way I can shut them down and put this tank into really a power down saving mode. I mean, according to the thing, I've got, you know, 2,000 uh, minutes worth of, or 2,500 minutes worth of uh, <laughs> fuel. So, I mean, it, obviously it's not going to go anywhere while you're sitting here. And the miniguns are still on, but the artillery and, and other turrets are off so that they don't waste ammunition trying to blast holes into the drone base. Now from this point of view I can then, or uh, this place now, I am in a secure location to uh, launch an attack um, on the uh, drone base. Ooh, ow. What the heck? Who's shooting me? Can't we be friends? But you gotta be that way. Sun with the sniper scope. Come on.
gonna send in our exploration drone and see what else we got. Oh, we got a couple more turrets in there shooting at us. There's the spawn pads for the drone base. Um, what I'm kind of curious about is over there, you can see there's a couple of floating um, drones. That structure over there just has a swarm of drones around it. that abandoned factory. So I'm going to uh, continue attempting to knock out this drone base. I will pick it up after I have done a little bit more damage to it uh, and got myself inside here. So don't go away kids, we'll be right back. Okay, we are still working on this drone base here. Um, I have, I, I gave up trying to find a way in on the surface. Um, I'll kind of show you a little bit here. Uh, these doors are just fake doors. They just they go into a little death trap. There's a couple of turns on the ceiling, a couple of turns on the wall, and they go into another one on either side. And that's all they do is they just loop around. I think the way you're supposed to access this base is to actually come in through the top. Uh, and there's a, probably a door up there someplace. I found a center elevator shaft that. Uh, leads up that way but I blasted a hole through the wall with the artillery in that one spot so I figured I'd just widen that hole out and come in that way so that's where I came in um, I explored around up here a little bit and here's the elevator like I said it goes all the way up to the top I've got some bad guys cruising around down here but I finally found the core room it's marked engineering they're really nice with it core <laughs> So, um, oops, that's not what I wanted. I am low on ammunition. I'm down to just using uh, the pellet gun. Uh, I've got one shot left on the shotgun and the sniper's rifle. I'm not too keen on the sniper's rifle, but um, for close quarters, but I'll use it. A gun is a gun. I just need to make holes in people. So I'm going to keep snooping and pooping and see if I can get my way in here. Ow, stop shooting me. I'm really I'm after is the ammunition for those guys more than anything. Some more food. Eat, eat, eat. So. <sighs> oh.
are you shooting at now? I didn't turn you on. as that was. That's part of the reason I don't like trusting current uh, designs. Um, I do not have any explosives. I've been finding a lot of times that these guys have been putting uh, a toggle or a switch. Oh, you blew up the generator, you jerk. Oh. Um, so I'm going to look around, see if I can find a toggle for this thing, or a switch, or a detonator, or something. Because I really do want to take all that fuel. I don't have to fight this base a second time. But I might just do it the old-fashioned way, and... my way through it so I don't feel like fighting these guys all day um, so there we have that's how that base uh, or that mobile base works um, I've been at this for a while now you know me and bases I'm not exactly swift when I go through them um, So there we have it kids, thanks all for watching. I will take this base apart. I literally, I have to strip this drone base completely apart. I have to kill it, strip it apart because if I want to use the Einhardt portal, um, I can't have this thing here because literally you can't get anywhere near the portal with that thing shooting at you. Um, I've already taken apart a couple of the other bases in the, in the area, but this one is a huge, huge, huge priority. Um, after this, I'll probably do is I'll go and drive over there and deal with all those drones. Maybe I'll even knock out some of those, knock out that base. Um, and I do have this base over here, this mining complex, which actually does get uh, gun turrets on it. I'm probably going to knock that out first, just in case it does respawn. Um, Again, I'm just going to completely obliterate it. I don't want these POIs anywhere near where I'm working. That I just, I'm literally, I'm thinking of just driving over there and shooting, uh, shooting down drones, and see how that goes. But if I go too far away from this, it may respawn. Um, although I have been having, like I said, a lot of problems with respawning lately, so they're unreliable. But I'm probably going to do is I'm just going to take control over one of these rocket turrets or something and blow core up that way since I already know where it is um, and I'll disassemble this base so thanks all for watching kids uh, I'll see you on the next episode I have no idea what I'm gonna do next uh, so good night for now